Christine here. I'm gonna do a little six month check-in to be in raw vegan. So what has happened these first six months of my raw vegan journey? Ooh. All right, let's start at the top. Well, the first couple months, I did lose about 10 pounds. Gone. <laughs> um, been at a plateau since then, but we have a couple of contributing factors. Well, one of them for sure is gonna be homestay. Actually, that's both of them. Homestay, because of COVID, has meant less exercise on my part because I'm not going out to my hot yoga classes. That used to be my physical activity almost every day. I loved it so much. So haven't done that and haven't really done too many home exercises, to be quite honest, which I should. Um, so that's part of it. Another part is just the stress, whether it's conscious, like you're really worried every day all the time, or it's subconscious. I mean, it's uh, we're in we're in a pandemic and there's other things going on too so it's a lot and the stress definitely takes a toll right cortisol levels go up your body hangs on to more fat um, <laughs> maybe it's from back in the day if we felt stressed our body's like oh you're not gonna get another meal again soon let's hang on to all the fat you know <laughs> we'll make it through this we'll make it through this but now it just makes us round <laughs> So I mean, that could probably be the reasoning why I've plateaued, but I'm still gonna stay the course, man. Uh, I'm just gonna have to figure out ways to be more active while we're still in lockdown for COVID. And yeah, it'll be fine. I don't have a deadline for losing a lot of weight. Just I'm um, gonna continue on and see what happens, you know? Health would be my number one priority, so there you go. So anyways, that's kind of exciting still. 10 pound weight loss first couple months. Another thing would be in those first couple months when I was doing hot yoga, I did see a dramatic change in my endurance and abilities in that class, right? So I could go through the whole class. I wasn't even tired. Like I was ready. I could do another class. Not joking. <laughs> I just felt so strong and whew, I want to be real. There were times when we're doing like a warrior pose or all these different poses and they had some music playing because my studio plays music and it's great. And I would be kind of like moving around in the pose like, ooh, feeling it, right? <laughs> I just had so much energy. Um, my stretching was better. I went deeper into poses. Oh, so yeah, endurance was plus. Now I sit at home a lot and I don't think we need a lot of endurance for this. So I'm not noticing these effects as much anymore. I just uh, hang out at the house. So when I start moving around more, maybe it'll become more apparent again, all this like raw energy flowing through me. <laughs> but anyway, that's still cool. So 10 pound loss, got some endurance. Um, I'd say the third thing that I really noticed is towards the end of 2019, before right before I went into raw vegan for the long term, I was getting into some acne on my face. So I started to see new little friends on my face and I thought, is this all my junk food finally showing <laughs> a physical manifestation besides some extra weight gain right on my body? Um, so maybe, yeah, you know, that's probably what it was. And when I started raw vegan, you know, that started to go right away. So my skin is much more clear. Um, nice, nice. I'd say some things that I could do now to help probably with my skin, with, um, my weight loss, sleep, that's something I'm still working on. I'm still a little bit of a night owl because I work during the days, right? And my fun time is at night. So I like to just stay up and look at YouTube and do all kinds of things like 1 a.m. dancing through my kitchen. You know? <laughs> just it gives me like a mental break. It makes me feel happy. So I want to have to cut that out. I want to have to get to bed earlier. Beauty sleep, right? They call it that for a reason. So I think when I can incorporate more sleep hours into my schedule, that'll be a big help as well. But still some good stuff. Um, my mood is, you know, it's doing good, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's hard to judge, especially now, because we are under so much stress. You know, I guess I'm doing fairly well for the circumstances. Um, I think the biggest thing that brightens my day is my cup of tea. That, <laughs> that always works. So I have jasmine tea when I'm at home. And when I go out and about, sometimes I'll get like an unsweetened black tea. Those are my favorites. And honestly, nothing brings me as much joy as that caffeine hit. So if I could just naturally feel that caffeine, hoo hoo, happy day, um, that's gonna be amazing. I will definitely report that when every day I wake up feeling that. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, one can only dream, right? Okay. But still, some pretty good stuff for six months then. I'm happy about a little weight loss. Um, endurance was cool when I was doing hot yoga. And one day I dream, I dream of going back to those classes, you know. Once it's open again and safe and we're all good, definitely we'll be back. And um, nice skin. So I hope that continues. And I think a big part of this burden is on me to get more rest. And then I'll, I'll be a little more fresh looking. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I mean, three kind of big things, you know, for six months in. I'll do another check-in after a year to see if there's more exciting changes to happen. Um, all right, well then. <laughs> I hope that was interesting. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.